What's going on you guys, TBR here, back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video, and in today's video we have another news roundup, because of course we do, because all the news has been dropping this week. In today's video we're going to first and foremost be talking about some information as it pertains to some different in-game events that are going to be ending today, because there are quite important events in there that you guys are going to want to make sure that you are taking advantage of before they end up expiring today. We're also going to be taking a look at the results for that survey from last week that we had talked about in order to gauge our interest in which characters should be getting the EX change-up system next. And then finally, we're going to be taking a look at the very first Street Fighter V collab character reveal trailer, this one for the free version of Chun-Li. So we got a lot to talk about in today's video, but before we get into all of that more, make sure if you guys haven't already done so, you smash that like button and subscribe. You already know what time it is. I don't even need to tell you. Cue the intro. Alright you guys, so as per usual, timestamps will be available in the description as well as the chapter functionality on this video so that way you guys can skip to whatever part of the video is most important to you. But with that being said, the first thing we're going to go ahead and talk about today is going to be the in-game events that are going to be ending. So we do have quite a bit today that is going to be going away as all of the EX events are going to be ending with the exception of, of course, the dispatch system which should at this point be a permanent system so we don't have to worry about that despite this little clock here. So first thing I want to go ahead and talk about here is going to be the Rush Dungeon. So just like any of the other Rush Dungeons, the Rush Dungeon event itself is going to be going away today. So we are going to have roughly about 13 hours from the time of making this video. So by the time you guys see this video, it's definitely going to be less time than that. So that's something you're going to want to keep in mind. So considering the fact that the exchange shop is going to be around for roughly the next week, you want to go ahead and make sure that you guys have enough of the in-game currency to make sure that you can pick up whatever items here that you're wanting to pick up daily each and every single day for the next week. So that would mean your hammers, your plus capsules, even these tokens for either the fighters or the battle cards. Whatever it is that you guys are planning on buying every day, I would tally up how many points you're going to need and then just make sure that you guys are getting as much of the coin today as possible because again, the actual rush dungeon will be ending today, but the exchange shop will be sticking around. You guys can double check that if you go over to your exchange shop tab, you'll see it says seven days. So that is the first thing I wanna go ahead and make sure that I point out. Just make sure that you guys are covered for the next week or so, so that way you can at least get those hammers every day. Now, another thing that is going to, of course, be ending today is going to be the tower. So the tower is going to be something that basically at this point, if you guys haven't already finished it, then I'm going to question why. But just make sure that you guys go in here and finish this today if you haven't already done so. It's pretty self-explanatory. You guys at this point, I'm sure, have seen videos of people clearing this with a unawakened Rugal. So it's one of those things where it shouldn't be all that difficult, depending on how well you're able to build up these characters. But then again, the difficulty level of those towers is always going to be dependent of where you are in the game. Now, the last thing that is going to be ending today that we really should talk about, and I will throw in that these battle passes will end today as well. If you guys, for whatever reason, are wanting to pick these up, you may do so. I've already done a video covering these battle passes and whether or not they're going to be worth it. But as you guys can see, if you were to go ahead and pick up these battle passes, you could still pick up all the rewards that would come with them so long as you have been doing your daily missions every day. So that's pretty much that. So if you want to spend the money, if you want to pick these up, today is the last day to do so. But with that being said, we do of course need to talk about the banners. So of course, both of the banners for the Boss Syndrome Volume 1 rerun are going to be going away. Now we've covered this several times here on the channel over the course of the past couple of weeks. At this point, I've already told you guys, I would be saving for Street Fighter. You know, it's one of those situations where while yes, these characters are very good, it is a very, very steep investment to get them to the point where you would like them. And so it's going to be one of those situations where you're going to have to heavily invest typically into these banners, even with the rate up, it's still going to cost you a lot of copies of these characters if you're wanting to max them out. So that is something you want to consider. As far as the cards, I would say if you don't already have this option card, 
this might be worth trying to pick up a copy or two of while you still have this rate up. However, again, I would be saving for Street Fighter because as I'm sure all of you are aware, whenever we have a collaboration, typically that is going to be the most bang for your buck and there's going to be just an overwhelming amount of power creep in there. So, you know, it's up to you guys on what you want to do here. If these are your favorites, definitely pull for your favorites. It's not as if these characters are in any way, shape or form bad. By all means, they are extremely strong when they are fully awakened, EX, everything. So it's one of those things where it's up to you guys. But at the end of the day, I would say definitely save. But those are the things that are going to be going away today. Just make sure that you guys pick up whatever it is you want to pick up or we're intending on picking up and make sure that you guys especially try to grind on this rush dungeon today. So with all that being said, guys, we have other news we need to talk about in the world of the King of Fighters All-Star. Right now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the results of that survey recently because Netmarble posted the results over on the official forums. So let's take a look. All right, you guys. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and take a look at here is going to be the surprise survey results. So what Netmarble went ahead and did is last week we talked about this, but they went ahead and gave us the option of picking up to three BS and three SS characters from the pool of BS and SS characters that have been released and gave us the option to pick those characters to gauge interest in which characters we wanted to see get the change up system. So with that being said, we had theorized that this is going to be a situation where we're probably going to see the top characters be kind of a popularity contest more than characters that actually need buffs the worst because typically that's how that's going to end up. We had kind of theorized characters such as Leona, Gainitz, Nameless, so on and so forth would do extremely well. And yeah, that ended up coming to fruition. So as you guys can see here, they do go ahead and give us the top three characters for each one of these pools, although we don't know how it shook out at the bottom. So that is something that they did not show us. But as you guys can see here to start off, we have the top three BS fighters according to our votes. And of course, at number one, we have Leona which we predicted. We had kind of assumed this was going to happen. Uh, number two, though, being BS0 was kind of surprising to me, and I'm happy to see that. He is a character that I do feel like would deserve a buff at this point or could definitely use one. And then we have Nameless. So right off the bat, Leona winning is not a surprise, like I said. Now, with Leona, though, I do agree that she could definitely use a buff, so I'm not really all that worried about her coming in at number one. By all means, she is not at the bottom of the pool of BS fighters that could use a buff. She is nowhere near the bottom. But at the same time, I could definitely see a case being made for her getting a buff. Same with Zero here. Zero could definitely use a buff. In fact, he needs it worse than Leona. Um, but at the same time, he still does have extremely good use cases right now in the game. He's still pretty valuable. So any buff that he gets is only going to make him just that much better. So at this point, these two characters, I don't really have a problem with for the most part. Like I said, there's other characters, in my opinion, that could go up here instead of a character like Leona. But at the same time, it is what it is. We had pretty much assumed that would be the case. And then Nameless coming in third is a joke to me. Uh, this character does no, in no way, shape, or form need a buff. This character is absolutely dummy broken. And uh, this is basically just voted on for popularity at this point because there's no way anybody believes that Nameless is in a bad position in the game because this character is stupid. And as you guys have seen with the copious amounts of videos I've made on him, he can pretty much pass through anything with ease and not even break a sweat. So yeah, at the end of the day, though, I do think that this is pretty decent. Now, one thing that should be mentioned here is the uh, red type down here. They say we will do our best to consider the above wishes for our next EX upgrade fighters. That's basically to cover them in case this happened, I bet. So I get the feeling that you're probably not going to see a character like Nameless get buffed anytime soon, just like another character we're going to talk about here momentarily when we talk about the SS fighters. So when it comes to the SS fighters, Keo is number one and uh, by a landslide. So this was predictable and this was something I agree with. Keo could definitely use a buff. This is a character that deserves a buff. This is a character that I feel like definitely needs it at this point. I would love to see Keo back in the meta because this was a character that was pretty much the top of the meta for a very long time. Surprising amount of time considering how power creep works in this game. So I'm very happy to see that. Uh, Iori, which is his banner mate, pretty much seals the deal for me that this banner is going to get a buff probably in the next month or two. Um, probably in the next couple months because we do have a collab coming up. But definitely, I think in the next couple of rounds of EX change up characters, these two guys are definitely going to get it. So it's nice to see Iori here. This character I had actually voted for, he needs it. So definitely glad to see that. And then in third, we have uh, Terry, which... Are you kidding? <laughs> 
oh, Terry won't get buffed anytime soon. That's not going to happen. Um, again, this line of text. This character is not going to get buffed right now. Uh, this character, it's more recent than almost any, well, pretty much any of these characters, really. And he's just, yeah, he's Terry. He's stupid. SS Terry is an amazing character. So, yeah, I really don't see... Um, really don't see a case to be made there but at the same time that's the result so in general you guys this pretty much shook out the way we kind of assumed it would i don't think it's necessarily anything too terrible though uh for the most part i'm pretty happy with what i see the third place characters on both pools in my opinion definitely don't need buffs right now maybe in a couple of months time when there's been more kind of space in between the last or when they were released that would make more sense but at the same time i just don't see it so with that being said you guys now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the newly released chun li trailer because yeah it's street fighter and of course we're excited so let's get into it here comes a new challenger <laughs> Alright you guys, so the next thing we're going to go ahead and take a look at here is going to be our first character reveal trailer for the Street Fighter V collaboration, and of course the character that they reveal first is going to be the free version of Chun-Li. Now for those of you who did not see yesterday's video, we did break down a lot of new information that was released about this collaboration, and this character was confirmed to be the free one, at least from best we can tell from the official website, so if you haven't seen that video, link will be in the description. But suffice it to say, again, this should be the free version of Chun-Li. We're going to go ahead and slow this down and take a look at this trailer. Spoiler alert, though, they do a very good job of hiding a lot of mechanics here, so there isn't really much we're going to be able to gleam about any effects or anything along those lines. However, we do get a good look at her skill set, so let's go ahead and take a look at it here. And like I said, we do slow it down, as always, here on the channel, just so that way we can get a better look at what there is to see. Now, as always, they're going to start out here with the basic string, the basic string, the only thing that really sticks out to me here is the amount of air time that she's getting out of this. Pretty cool stuff. Whole lot of hang time there. Look at that. Poor Mai. Of course it would be Mai getting bullied in this trailer. So the S1 here is going to be the projectile, so pretty standard stuff. Standard projectile there. Again, we can't really tell what's going on as far as any effects, but the S2 is a bunch of kicks, which is a nice little multi-hit. Again, a nice signature Chun-Li move. And then finally, the S3 is going to be another nice multi-hit strike skill. So it's looking like we have a projectile and two strike skills there. And then this guy here should be another projectile skill, I would assume. And then finally, we're going to have the 3PG finisher. This is going to be the card finisher, so this is going to be the first look at the card art. Very nice stuff. As always, Netmarble does an amazing job on any of their art for any of this stuff. But this is a nice, long, cinematic finisher. So pretty much what we've come to expect with any of the new characters nowadays. But overall, she is looking fantastic in my opinion. The character models for all these characters so far have looked really, really nice. I'm just really interested to see the rest of these trailers. Because I really just want to see what they're going to do with Bison and Akuma personally. But Chun-Li, like I've mentioned before, if I can't have Cammy, I'll take Chun-Li. So... Nice little consolation prize for me at that point. But in general, nice long 3PG animation. In general, you guys, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here. Again, we can't really gleam anything such as dots or anything along those lines from what we're seeing here. But in general, that's pretty much what we can tell from the trailer. We can back it up and look at it one more time. But again, you guys will be able to see in here, it's very tough to tell anything from this. And it doesn't look like there's really anything that we can really tell as far as... We can't even see hyper armor, super armor, all that stuff. Because usually they hide all that stuff in these trailers. And that's definitely the case here. But that projectile looks like it's pretty much a nice kind of middle of the road speed wise projectile. These last two skills though, look like they're going to have a decent amount multi-hits she is a free character so we'll have to wait and see just how good she is free characters pretty much mean nothing when it comes to collaborations because typically the free characters are just as good as anybody so it's one of those things where this character is probably going to be extremely powerful if history is going to repeat itself with the way that marble does things but you never know so again 
good look at the card art there. I'm very curious to see what all these cards for this collab do, especially the new set cards, because typically speaking, collab set cards are absolutely stupid. So <laughs> it's going to be one of those things that'll be very interesting to see and is typically kind of an unsung hero of some of these events. But in general, you guys, that's pretty much what we can tell. There's not a whole lot in here that we're going to be able to glean from this other than the fact that the Street Fighter V collaboration is absolutely hype. So with that being said, you guys, that is going to be today's video. I hope you all found it enjoyable and informative. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. What did you think of the Chun-Li trailer? Let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys all in the next one. You all take care. Peace. Continue.